Dr. Ross Anderson, would you explain to us about how you test yourself for pH? How do you know which way you're going, acid or alkaline? Well, pH testing is very, very important, and I recommend people do it um, simply because knowing is better than not knowing. And some people will be needing to test their pH on a regular basis. Other people don't. The pH testing itself is very simple. There are specific pH testing papers that you can buy in the health food store or at, uh, on the website below for testing urine and saliva. They're not designed for water. They're designed specifically for urine and saliva and don't work well with water. And so that's what we use them for. And we like to see people keep their pH levels between about 6.8 and 7.2 uh, on the urine and saliva. And that is something that is, a, is an achievable goal, especially when they start drinking alkaline ionized water. For testing water itself, we have a specific reagent, which is an actual um, chemical. It's colored, and you put, it, uh, put a few drops into a small sample of water, and it will turn a different color for different levels of pH. And that's something that I think people should do. Uh, they should test their water because, as you well know, we are made up largely of water and the pH of that water is a very important thing.